Hey, Joe. I'm excited to talk to you today about decision-making goal setting. I'm so grateful to be on your show today. I can't believe you asked an Ephrata high school teacher to be on the number one podcast in America. This is amazing. Uh, I love how open and honest you are with your, with your guests and how you tell them about your own personal experiences and how people all around the world can learn from you. Um, I also love how you, you talk about your, the mistakes that you've made in your own life and how you can, how you can learn from them. Now that's interesting, isn't it? When you watch people fail and you go, oh, okay, I see that in myself. Yeah. I just got to not do what that guy's doing. And then also do you see the stubborn pig-headedness that some people have where they won't listen to advice. Mm -hmm. And you could clearly see how they're ruining their lives by not being honest. Yes, Joe. Sometimes people need to get over themselves and stop being so focused on the negative instead of focus on their goals and they, what they want out of life. But the great thing about today your YouTube show and your podcasts and similar shows like this that billions of people have access to inspirational stories, life-changing experiences, all while staring at their smartphones. And a lot of people are trying to make their lives better, and that's what your show does. Well, there's so many people out there that are trying to do better. <clears throat> They're trying to get their lives in order. And, you know, shows like yours and, and, and you know, just advice shows, people that are giving out inspiration and knowledge. It's so it's such a, a an important thing for people, especially for people that didn't grow up with wise parents or maybe a good support system around them. Yeah, Joe. But the great thing now is that again, kids can get good advice from not only parents, from a teacher, YouTubers, LeBron James, Mr. Beast. What people have to do is start with making some some better small daily decisions. Like, hey, maybe I'm going to make my bed this morning. I'm going to eat healthy breakfast. Maybe I'm going to do my homework tonight. Maybe I'm going to instead of being so negative you know put build someone up instead of put someone down make a positive comment to someone say hello to someone else smile at them you know it's these small daily decisions that can really make a di big difference in our life we got to start being more positive in this world not being so negative yeah you know tony robbins once said once that uh, it's incremental changes over the long haul and the way you have to look at it is if these two boats are going in a parallel direction and one of them just shifts five degrees mm -hmm. over the course of time this boat is going to be in a far different place than the other boat that's going the same way it was always going. Yeah, Joe, I love boats too. I have so many great childhood memories, being up on Lake Sebago in Maine and watching fireworks at night out on the lake on my boat, going jet skiing and uh, tube, boat tubing and water skiing. Boats are awesome. But in all serious seriousness, Joe, these kids need to set goals for themselves and they've got to be specific. They need to be measured, they need to have a time component, and most importantly, they need to be written down. If you don't write down your goals, it's just a wish. And I don't know about you, Joe, but I've never found a magic lamp. I never got my three wishes. So, but I do f realize that through hard work, luck tends to follow you. Yeah, I, I tell people to write things down. I say one of the best ways to get things done is to write things down. Write down what you're trying to get done. Write down what you need to get done on a long-term <clears throat> basis and what you need to get done on a short-term basis. And write off a checklist. Force yourself. Be accountable. Yeah, Joe. Accountability. It's so important in life. It's easy to say, but hard to can be consistent with. But again, if you're honest with yourself and you focus on your goals, you could do it. I mean, Joe, look at you. You did it. You're one of the most famous people in the world right now because of this podcast. Okay? And look at me. Just a lowly effort of high school teachers on the number one podcast show in America. You can do it if you work hard. All right.